Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Today I am out here guys just to give you all an update, just a small little update on the Scotch Bonnet uh, feel here in the garden and just to kind of go over some, uh, just a little bit of uh, what I've experienced here in the Scotch Bonnet patch here okay so now if you all remember last year for all of the uh, people out there our subscribers that has been following us um, if you all remember um, down here in this scotch bonnet patch I was a little bit I didn't want to cut my uh, pepper plants but um, guys I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these pepper plants here simple reason why what I've been noticing here in the garden uh, these pepper plants, the limbs, they get so loaded with peppers, as y'all can see right here. This is about one limb that is coming out, and you got about, uh, you got one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there was actually quite a bit more peppers um, all the way out here on this limb. Now, if y'all can see right here. I came on in and I snap or I cut that piece right there uh, and also you got another branch that is coming on out but simple reason why I'm going to explain to you guys why I cut this limb right here now if it was a limb on this scotch bonnet plant if y'all can see how this particular limb is growing straight up that is actually what we want with these scotch bonnet pepper plants we want those limbs to grow vertically and not to the side because what happened when they are growing to the side and they are loaded with peppers they are more prone to be uh, to get broken all right and so uh, what we're going to kind of do to prevent that to keep them from breaking is we're going to simply just go ahead and cut the tip off uh, now there are a few more peppers on the end of them but I rather to uh, lose a few peppers on the end uh, instead of losing a whole branch now if y'all remember previously I did a video uh, we had a storm came through here and uh, with the water and beating on it and those limbs was loaded with peppers what happened uh, those peppers they snap or not the peppers but the limb snap from all that weight and so we're going to come on in and prune some of those limbs which right here as y'all can see I just came on in and pruned some now look at the end uh, of the pepper uh, of that limb right there if you can see there is right at about five peppers on here plus we have a little blossom coming out and guys if I didn't cut that limb what would have happened it would simply snap now a great example right here is look at this limb how it snapped right there now the beauty about it is with these uh, scotch bonnet plant we have suckers coming on out uh, pretty much to replace that limb that broke now if you look right here look at that you could see that limb how it is bending and look at that guys it is leaning all the way down at the ground we don't want that now you see got quite a bit of peppers on there but what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is right there on this limb I'm going to snap it right there okay because we don't want those uh peppers to develop any further out on the end of that limb causing the pepper plant to break and so that is why i'm out here just kind of to kind of show you all uh, that next step right there because these pepper plants they get very loaded uh they are full of peppers and we don't want to be losing limbs guys we definitely don't want to be doing that so that is why I'm out here today and even I had to come on in and stake up some more peppers we had a storm came through and quite a bit of them but probably about three or four of them blow down and so we are back in here to stake them up and of course y'all can see because it was leaning on the ground all of them was trying to find 
uh, their direction to get that sun. But what will happen over a period of time, uh, all of these limbs that are leaning um, to the left, they'll go ahead and straighten on up. So that's that's okay. All right. Now, another thing that I've been doing here in the garden, um, remember, um, we do like to come on in and pull suckers, guys. We do like to pull suckers. But right here on this particular plant, uh, right here where the... Uh, the V, where the plant go ahead and V, uh, you usually get suckers come out right in here in this spot right here. So what I did with this particular plant, I leave one of those suckers to go ahead and, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, take off. All right. Now, like I said, when you let these suckers go ahead and do that, you do take a bit of uh, energy away from the plant, but with just one of them, uh, going ahead and take off uh, that shouldn't be too much energy but what I will do I will keep an eye on these plants how they are producing and I will definitely you know if it's a good thing I will hold on to it if not I will definitely change that uh, for next year okay now I want to show you all something real quick over here and I'm telling you like I said and you would believe with the spacing that I gave these plants down here, look at that. This is the walk space right in here. And pretty much uh, the peppers, they took over the walk space. Now, right here in this spot, guys, if y'all can see this particular pepper plant right here, let me step back just a little bit so y'all can see now that right there is a experiment that i did here inside of the garden okay and i'm going to explain to you guys in just a moment what's going on now this particular plant i left it i did not do anything to it i did not prune any suckers off of that particular plant and so with all of those suckers that I left on this plant what I am noticing I am getting more growth than uh, fruits on this particular plant now I did harvest some peppers off of there but the production was very very low now in just a moment I'm going to go on in and kind of show you all uh, the blossoms on the plant and what the plant is doing but I want to show you guys this plant right here now look at that now this right here is a plant that I did come on in and prune all the suckers and I am going to have to uh, fix the stake on this because this plant is leaning but if y'all can see right there, this is a plant uh, that I pull suckers and this plant is still loaded. Okay, still full of peppers. Now I'm going to come on down here. Let's see if I can get on here just to kind of show you all what's going on with this plant that I didn't prune. Now look at that. Okay. If y'all can see under here, and one of the reasons why I said it is good to go ahead and pull those suckers, because look at all these growth underneath here, right? Now, what it does with all those leaves hanging down, it kind of make it a bit harder for hair flow to pass through uh, this plant right here, because with all those leaves up on uh, the stalks of these plants, it kind of keep the hair flow from getting through but I just want to get on up in here just to kind of show you all what's going on with the canopy and what I also did notice you do have some peppers that is of size and you do have uh, most peppers on here is a bit small now look at that that is a smaller pepper there and guys like I said just look up inside of this canopy you would think with this pepper plant being so big, production would have been higher, but that is not the case here on the homestead, guys. 
Now this is a neighboring plant uh, next to the one that I did not prune and look at the production on that plant right there. Now of course y'all can see suckers have been cleaned from this plant and this one is just left alone and like I said uh, production is not as good. Now this is a limb uh, that's coming from this plant here. Uh, we do have a couple of peppers that is, is, is good size but like I said most of them on here is small but guys uh, none of the less um, I just wanted to bring you all along to give you all that update of what is going on but I uh, hope y'all take something away from this here because um, we definitely have to come on in and prune these peppers because I rather to lose the tip of the pepper plant than to lose a whole limb. All right, so keep that in mind right there, guys. So I just want to say thanks to each and every one of y'all for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Uh, you like the content y'all got here today, just go ahead, throw that thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I just want to say to everyone, have a blessed day.